In this video, I am going to build a drone that not only has flying capabilities but also have track bags for moving in off-road conditions. It is designed while keeping in mind that the drone will fly to a certain location, thus covering the maximum distance. After landing, the track belts would be used to drive the drone on off-road places. It will be equipped with different types of cameras and provide us the real-time footage. For the past two years, I've been building and testing EDFs and drones on my Mac Ninja YouTube channel. But this is my first time I'm attaching a feature to the drone. And this product was difficult to build involving lots of drone crashes and rebuilding before we get the final prototype. The first step is calculation of the drone. Since we are going to make this drone compact, so I'll be using the motors which has a prop die of 5 or 6 inch. I'll be using these Racer Star BR2207S motor since it gave me a thrust of 900 grams during the testing. You can check the testing video by clicking on the I button. So I have searched for references online and found only few. Now I have designed the CAD model with respect to 6 inch propeller dia. I have designed it in such a way that there will be minimum wire visible to provide a clear look. There are two motors at the back which will drive the track belt. Each track belt has 5 idle pulleys and one motor pulley. Since the video transmitter gets hot during usage, so I have created the fan mount to attach the fan. Now let's 3D print these parts. I have 3D printed these parts with 0.2mm layer height and 30% infill. All these parts have been printed using PLA. You can download the files from the website www.themacninja.com. Now let's start the assembly. So I will start with connecting the motor with the arms. I will be using M3 size screws of 10mm length. Now I will attach the front mount with M3 size screws of 25mm length. After making all the 4 sets, it's time to insert the wires for track belt motors. After inserting the wires, you can see its arrangement. I'll be using M3 size screws of 30 and 40 mm length to attach the top and bottom plate. I'll be using nylock nut as these nuts doesn't lose during the vibrations. The bottom plate has been assembled and it's time to attach the top plate. I'll be using M3 size 6 mm inserts for attaching the other components. I'll be using this ready to sky 35 ampere 4 in 1 ESC. Although this ESC is designed for small FPV drones, but I'll give it a try. I have attached two capacitors of 35 volt 1000 microfarads. These are low ESR capacitors. I have attached the power module to power the pixel. I attached the 3010 fan under the ESC to cool it as these get heats up fast. I have soldered all the motor wires to the ESC. I'll be using this L2981 motor driver for track belt motor. I have mounted the Pixhawk using its vibration pad and a buck converter to power all the electronics. Now it's time to assemble the gimbal. I'll be using this Raspberry Pi Zero 5 megapixel camera for the real time footage and an MG90 servo motor. Let's connect everything to make the gimbal. Attach the camera using two screws. I'll be using this Raspberry Pi Zero 2W as a processor for my OpenHD communication system. I have directly soldered the USB port wires to connect the external antenna. And I have also provided the switch for powering it. All the wiring diagrams can be found in the link in the description. This is the TP-Link AC1300 Wi-Fi adapter. I'll be using two of them, one for the drone and other for the ground station. Now let's mount the Raspberry Pi in the front section. Attach the camera gimbal with the screws and connect the camera cable. This is the Wi-Fi telemetry I am going to use. I'll be using M810 GPS. I have taken it out from its cover. Now let's attach the GPS with the top cover. I'm using 3010 fan to pull the Raspberry Pi. I have attached 4 LEDs with the front section and connected it to its driver. It helps in switching them on and off. Now let's assemble the drone body. After connecting all the electronics, attach the top cover. Attach these 9 volts bio motor of 200 rpm for track belt. 
and solder the respective wire. Connect all the idle gears. These are the two track belts printed using the TPU material. TPU is a flexible material thus it is perfect for making track belts. Connect the antenna and the tri-bladed 6 inch 6045 propellers. The drone is completed and ready for the first test flight. For initial test runs, it gave me a series of rough landing in strong winds. And for the third time, it flew smooth. The yaw was working perfect. So I thought to fly it around. But as soon as I thought it's flying well, suddenly all the motor stopped and the drone crashed. Followed by another crash and another. In total, I broke 6 arms. The cause of these crash was this ESC. It got heat up too much and to prevent the damage to the MOSFETs, it cut off the current. So now I'm going to replace it with this 40 amperes bigger ESC. A few moments later. I have mounted all the four ESCs and I will also add these BO motors in the front section because two motors were not enough for a smooth movement. Now let's connect everything and test the drone. So this is the console I am going to use. You can see the open HD screen with all the parameters required to fly a drone. The left switch is to change the mode from drone to tank. The right potentiometer is to tilt the camera. And the left one is to turn on the lights. And you can see there is no lag in the video transmission. This might also be because both the antennas are close to each other. This complete console is 3D printed for a 7 inch wave share screen and you can find the files from the link in the description. For those of you who doesn't know about OpenHD, it's an open source communication system which helps us transfer real time footage using digital signals. It also works as a two way telemetry. Now let's fly it. I'll be using a 3300 mAh 4S LiPo battery. The drone is stable during the takeoff and we'll find in a couple of minutes whether the ESC is working fine or not. The Pi camera ISO is set to auto that's why it's showing darkness as it's facing the sun. But as I tilted the camera it gave us a clear view. Let's take a 360 view of the surrounding. And here come the paid actors. Now let's land the drone. As soon as I disarm the drone, the Pi camera stopped the recording. Now let's switch to tank mode.
at night time while turning on the led the drone was tricky to maneuver because of low visibility but we can increase the visibility by adding more leds but the tank movement can be easily achieved i have also tested it with an infrared camera in the daytime it gives us stealth look if you want to use it in the night time then you have to use infrared leds The speed of this drone is quite fast. Here is a low pass video of it. Check it out. Well from this video we have learned not to use 4-in-1 ESC in bigger drones. This drone works quite well only with the drawback of its time of flight. It gave us a flight time of about 4.5 minutes because these are racing drone motors and consume lot of current. In case I want to increase the time of flight then either I have to increase the drone size to accommodate a bigger battery or use efficient motors. So thank you for watching this video and make sure to subscribe the Mac Ninja YouTube channel if you have enjoyed this video. You can also check out my other videos on EDF and drones. I'll see you within a couple of weeks with another cool project. So see you later.